Love Light Greetings, Gratitude, Blessings and Blessings, Ascension Star Family, my divinity to yours. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. I thank you for your Love Light support, your clicks and comments, your appreciation and participation. Importantly, significantly and magnificently, Spirit and I thank you heartedly, saluting you for our uniting light. For all the prayer, the good thoughts, intentions, the meditations, visualizations, and the light work, being the warriors for change, for transformation, for transition during our ascension to bring paradise to people and planet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 29-6-2024-11-6-8-16-7 Magic Miracles Chariot in Tarot and the Crown Chakra. Progressing into higher consciousness, higher awareness, creating and manifesting from a higher space. Thinking, feeling, doing from divine consciousness. I took a break yesterday, so thank you for that. I needed it. So we go on to further our readings on Anne, Princess Royal. It is reported that she was discharged yesterday, 28-6-2024, which brings us to a 10 6 8, a 15 and a six. Now 15 is her birth date or date of her birth. 15th of August 1950 is when she was born. The 15 stands out as the date of Trooping the Colour. 15 is also the date that Prince Harry was born. And he's 15-9, she's 15-8. I am also a 15 as I chuckle, but I have nothing to do with this. I'm just saying because I'm seeing so many 15s. So... A lot of repetition, a lot of similarities that is running through the chart, running through the energy, again bringing us to a six, right? We're still in June. What is also noted is the date of her discharge was 28, six, right? 28 June. What happened on a date 28? If we go back six months ago to 28, 12, that was the date that an ambulance had left Kensington um, Palace or the home of Catherine, where there is the emotion of her being taken to hospital or the public noted there was ambulance and of course a motorcade from that or surrounding that. But this is all alleged now, right? 
So six months later, from the 28 12, which becomes a 10 3, and that energy doubles now six months later to a 28 6, which becomes a 10 6. We have a case of Anne, all right, being discharged, but on the 28th it was presumably an admission, right, so we had an admi admission on that day of the 28th of 12, and now we have a discharge on the 28th 6, six months later. Almost perfect, not so. So the vibration of energy for the 28th of the 12th was a 10, 3, 7, 20, which is judgment, and then that reduces to 2, right? And on the 15th of 8, 1950, which was when Anne was born, it was a 15, 8, 15, 6, 8, 6, which becomes a 20, slash 2. So somehow I am feeling that Anne and Catherine's energy tie up so almost matched, right, to what is happening, what's happened to her and what's happening with Anne. There's a very clear, very clear connection here. Now in the readings we've done, We've already seen Catherine's energy play up in Anne's reading. And we've already said, is a Catherine being done on her? So, interesting, all the 15s. And she's an 11 birth path number, which is judgment, right? Today's date is 29, which brings us to that 11. And that birth part number is also shared with her elder sibling, the king. He's also an 11 birth part number. So let us find out from Spirit Divine what is going on. What else is going on or what more do we need to know that we already seem to feel, sense, know. So much clarity is coming through in what is taking place. Spirit Divine, Mother, Father, Supreme and Sovereign, welcome as we invite and invoke your energy, essence and presence to connect and protect us in your divine grace and embrace. Oh, for myself, our beautiful Ascension Star Channel and our family of stars from the stars, that we see it here, to meet and greet, through your call, to be in service, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Ace of Swords, the breakthrough of truth is what we're searching for, right? It's what we're looking for. Eight of Wands, and we want it quickly, we want it at speed, but it's coming at speed. So what's happening here? Ten of Swords, somebody underwater, somebody's head, right? This was um, reported to be a kicked by a horse or a butting by a horse or an incident or accidental happening by a horse where in the head area right who had a head injury not so long ago in the beginning of the year in a number two month february right we saw a 20 slash 2 and date becomes a 20 slash 2 which is that 11 28th of December 2023 is also a 20 slash 2 
in the second month we had an injury to a head which was Thomas Kingston um, pronounced dead suddenly reported the finding to be suicide again we have a head injury by a horse nine of pentacles this is Catherine's energy right she's presenting herself as do not forget about me I am part of this right circle something is completing and it surrounds her strength this is M the lion she is a Leo let's do one more Sun what are they illuminating what's being illuminated right a woman coming out from nowhere something that's happened to her from nowhere she is a um a fire energy the sun is fire she's out on the field she's been running with horses riding horses being with horses interacting with horses right look at, at the bottom of that and that was not intended i intended to stop here death and the fool another game right seven of swords deception by who a king of cups we've closed we've, we've literally started and ended the reading but that's what they say that's what divine spirit says mother father says you've already got your reading You've got your message, your answers. Right. I saw the 1212 and I just saw the 1221, which becomes three and three, six. What do we need to know? What do you wish to share, Spirit? What is this about the sun in reverse? Unhappiness. You saw the sun in the upright. It fell in, reserve, in reverse. So what is happening? Darkness is set. Night is set on someone. The sun is no longer shining. Eight of Pentacles, tried to but didn't. This is definitely connected to Catherine's type of scenario in a slightly different way. Seven of Pentacles, another card trying to jump. There's a lot, but we want the ones that do, Spirit, please. What are you trying to tell us? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Three of Swords. Two of Cups. Ooh, there we go. There's Catherine's card. Right, Eight of Pentacles. She's going to go down as another page or a chapter in the book. They had worked very hard on this next um, page, chapter, story in this grand book of C-R-I-M-E. Right, so what do we get here? An eight, another eight. Quick action on a fire sign. It happens in threes. 
three women, Diana, Catherine, and Anne. Here's the three women. This is the card I will keep. This is Catherine showing us the mirroring of her energy in a different way. So this is, we, we will keep this here. What you don't see, darkness has set. Moon, shadowy, shady. Right. to take her out, to move away, take her out of the scene. The six, breaking down from the 15. Page of Swords is all the information. This is the card we need to keep, the three women that are being the Divine Feminine. The three women that I mentioned is on this wheel. Three different timelines. Three different cycles. Three is the energy of the Empress, Divine Feminine. Right? We spoke about how this particular institution has abused, used, misused, suppressed, oppressed, depressed women over generations. And we are seeing it unfold in our lifetime, all three at once, not even in different cycles. Eight of Cups, another eight, right? Taking her out, letting her move away from her happiness and joy, leaving everything and moving, right? Having to leave her life. That is not even willingly. Apologies, this needed to go up here. Six of Pentacles, three women in duplication. Here's the scale. Tipping the scale from masculine to feminine, from feminine to masculine, and decreasing the feminine energy and rising the masculine again. So we're taking the three of the Divine Feminine and we are creating by utilizing their power, their energy through sacrifice, right? Look at all the red she's wearing. That is blood, that is sacrifice to uplift the patriarch energy, the negative energy. There's our six. Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I'm not to take it, but I'm to show you. These two cards need to be done. Five of Pentacles, this is loss. Loss. Poverty of divine feminine energy. Doing what? Putting them in this state. Inability. Useless. Unworthy. Not needed. Another five. Five of Wands. The, the conflict that took place. There was some conflict that took place between her in the system. Possibly her with the king or, the, or somebody superior, which resulted in that 
suddenly, unexpectedly. So that will stay here. Um, that meaning the two cards, the death and the tower, right next to the wheel, right next to the wheel, all mages, massive, this is massive, the wheel, the death, the tower, critical cards, of two women, of two women, in a matter of six months, in a matter of six months. Not sure if I did this. Let's bring it back. So the cards here at the bottom on the table or the foundation. This is how all of this is built on. Well, that's what they're saying. Spirit is saying. Now, the card that intended to jump and fall, I am told to keep. Justice. Eleven. Anne's birth path number. Justice. One. One. Eleven. And what is happening with the one, one, the two women within six months? Look at the bottom of the deck, King of Cups. Let me show you what this is. 15, Devil. We've already said the 15s are here. The work of nastiness, ugliness. By whom? A King of Cups. That's why we're laying the foundation. Right? Why did we do that? Spirit says, because... This King of Cups is a key player, a key figure in this entire scene. We'll call it that, in the wheel. This King of Cups sits in the center of the wheel and the Death card. And this is our reading. And it's 23 minutes. They said, look at the time, 23 minutes. What happened on the 23rd? That was the date of the incident, so to speak. Not so. Which becomes that five, that conflicting energy. The war. The battle. The All the fives are about fight. War, poverty, negativity, losses, worry, isolation, misery, sadness, depression. That's all the fives. So in six months, almost planned strategically, that such and such will take place. And what I get with the Two of Cups as Catherine, it's as if she prompts me, right? Because this card shows up in the reading for the trooping. 
whereby we saw her copy attend. Right? She made that clear prior to the reading. But what she's saying now is that Anne was very much part of that equation, marking the number 15 forward. So what I'm feeling here, right, it's just a feeling, is there could possibly be a two-in-one procession. Both at the same time. Announcements should possibly, could possibly come where both will take a turn for the worst and of course kind of go around the same time and be scheduled to have a six of wands energy, a procession energy. On that same day or around the same time, maybe it will be announced the same month, right? maybe not have it on the same day but they are going to follow each other very closely. We may not see it um, publicly yet, but that's what's been planned, is to keep both these announcements or um, publicity for it sort of back to back. That's what I'm being told with this Two of Cups. That is how it's intended. In that way, it will be a big saving in terms of having two public processions and of course it will be a doubled um, triumph for two kings of cups. two kings of cups, the one sitting and the one to sit. Let us leave this here, spirit. Thank you. Family of light. It's not getting easy, but here we have it. Taking place in our midst, in plain sight, the sun in reverse, that is critical. Every bit of happiness becomes unhappiness, becomes sorrow, grief, sadness, pain, suffering, darkness. To what? All this feminine energy. By whom? Only one masculine energy in this entire read. The sun in reverse. The wheel. The death. The tower. One of those kings of cups partnered with Catherine. You know who we speak of. May we continue to stand in our light, to send love light to the children, to others that are going through the trauma surrounding this. Do not become absorbed into the energy because what we do is fuel it to continue and it shall continue until enough people wake up. And that is the divine law. I love you, I bless you, I thank you, till next.